That's better. All Are right. we? Is we starting? Is we starting? We is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the start already? Oh, shoot. I'm not even going to have my thing ready. All right. Welcome to Tough Questions <laughs> Podcast. I'm your host, Jeff Sheen, with his co-host, Tim McLaughlin. What's up, everybody? I hope you're having a great day. That's nice. I like that tone you gave. Thanks. You better be in a good mood for this. I am in a good mood. You've I'm been... in a good mood because I'm off of work, and work everything broke today, so yeah. now I don't have to deal with it. Well, you were <laughs> giving me some salty attitude it's earlier. because you're a fucking bitch. And I didn't like it. I you don't like when you're bitch, salty. Jeff. You're a fucking catty bitch who doesn't do anything. <laughs> I work, I work seven days we a go. week. Here we go. Here we go. And working. you don't do shit. Right. I'm texting you about figuring out stuff. You're not texting me back. I because, was napping. Yeah. I worked for <laughs> 10 hours a day, you fucking skinny bitch. Oh, here we go. I work 10 hours a day. Oh, in the coal mine? Yes. All right. So this is the podcast where this is therapy, and I just... No, that's great, Hank. Okay, yeah, that's all right. great. Because it just feels like there's a lot of tension. Yeah, yeah. Didn't have to put me in the middle. You well, know you're I mean? in the middle, and the <laughs> person, in the middle. yeah, the person in the middle interjecting before I introduced him yeah, is our geez, guest. You haven't even been introduced, you. Yeah, <laughs> our guest today. Oh, you comedian. think I'm mad at Jeff? You haven't even been introduced, you fucking fat bitch. Oh, hey, <laughs> oh hold on oh a second. God, right, move. What the fuck? I'm pretty fat. Jeez, oh. Lou. All right, yeah. our guest today is comedian. <laughs> Ben Katzner. Oh, hey, oh. Ben. Oh, hey, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> there we go. Fucking kill you at night. How about that? That's the oh, energy. Shit. No, we're good. We're good. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. It's this fun. is going to be a spicy podcast. I can't imagine it's going to be listenable. <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty bad to listen no, to. It's I say nice. kill me in the day. Let a lot of people see. <laughs> good Lord. I'm with that. All right, Ben. I don't know if you're familiar with the podcast. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I get Did to... You? I. I do funny bits. Mm-hmm. No. Tim's the straight man. Mm. No questions, and we just have a good time. No, no, no. That's the complete opposite, Ben. <laughs> you do no bits. I yeah. am the only funny one. Oh. And Jeff will ask you some questions. Yeah. Okay, cool. No bits, Ben. I don't, yeah. You can't be funny. Yeah. Well, All right. I don't care how funny you think you are. I'll manage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you listened to any episodes? Yeah, I have. Some Which one did you listen to? Wilfred's? Jesus. Uh, yeah, I think that was one of the best episodes. Oh, yeah. yeah. He had a terrible time. Wilfred. Yeah. <laughs> he had a terrible time. The worst time. time you have, the better the podcast. Yeah, episodes. I'm yes. picking up on that vibe. <laughs> yeah. I get that. So, no jokes out of Ben. Tim's the funny one. Okay. I asked you questions. You got to give me the best answers you can. All okay. right. Uh, let's see. And then uh, I'm going to score you out of 10. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you get a little score. And you get a little score based on how, how I'm feeling about it. Anyone ever got 10 out of 10? Nobody has gotten 10 out of 10. Let's no. keep the streak alive. No. Perfect. And you, then you, you, you want to get above a 5. Do I? If you, you get above a 5, you get to plug your shit. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll be in Boston in August. No, so no, 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 no. Don't pull a Graham. <laughs> Graham K kept doing it made me all mad, and now it looked like it was anti-autistic <laughs> children. Yeah. Graham K, funny guy, smart man. Yeah, yeah, he tried to wiggle it in. So no, no, you know, you do your plugs at the end if you, if we think okay. you did well enough answering some of my tough questions. Okay. Yeah, I got quite a few. It's a double sided page. <laughs> oh great! All right, you're gonna be here for a while. Oh sweet! All right, let's mm-hmm. see. Let's start it off here. All right, first question, Ben. Uh, let's yes. see. Let's start off here. You're adopted. I know that. You're adopted. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Can I be honest? I'm shocked you know that yeah. about me. Yeah, <laughs> I know some things. Adopted by a white family in Minnesota. That is true, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah. we know you're adopted. Now, okay. being adopted, white family in Minnesota, okay. uh, when and how did you find your black identity? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. That's <laughs> That's, wow. That's really good, actually. <laughs> yeah, when and how. <laughs> when and how. <laughs> you know, that's a <laughs> shockingly good question from you. Yeah. Uh, um, I would say probably like late college is when I... Late It took college. me a long time. Holy That's smoke. where you went from aunt to auntie. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. That's exactly right. And they hated it. Uh, <laughs> no, I feel like that's when I started meeting other like... Black people who had been similar, different situations. I just felt more comfortable. Oh, yeah. This is so boring. But this is, that's true. No, no, that's what it's I late, want, That's late, late college, I would say. 100%. Late college. Okay. It's perfect that it's boring. It means you're not trying to be funny. You're not trying to work your bits like Palufo did. Weren't even funny. No. <laughs> Kept trying to work them in. I feel like this just, her, just her last felt differently. So wow. I think she's doing fine. She's okay. Yeah. Tim will never let it go. All right, late college, what are we talking, like junior year? I would say like summer of sophomore year going into summer, junior year. Summer of Ben's and blackness. For, I love it. <laughs> That's what we were calling it. <laughs> That's what we, 
<laughs> and I, I do, I will admit, like, for anyone who knows where I went to school, it, this is a wild thing to say. I went to a very small private, like, white, like, private white institution in Minnesota. So it's not, it wasn't oh. like, oh. I didn't go to, like, Morehouse or something. There was Damn. nothing that was. It was oh, just. Okay. You weren't in the step crew? <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried to start the group, and they wouldn't have it. So Wait, what college was it? What college did you go to? University of St. Thomas in St. Paul. St. Thomas and St. Paul. St. Paul, A double saint. Wow. Right. wow. Double saint, double score for you right there. They just had <laughs> – my town had two black people, and that school had, like, 15. So I was like, this is great. This Damn. is amazing. Oh, okay, 15. It's probably more than that, but it felt like 15. To me. All right. And how it was uh, just, just with hanging out with the other 15? You know, just getting to know different people and feeling comfortable in your own skin. You know, I didn't feel like I had to be whatever, you know? There's a lot be of white what? people in the be country like who are word. like – you know 50 cent <laughs> like i mean i know of them like i don't know what you want from me so i feel like i didn't have to try hard to be somebody we want to meet them <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to meet them yeah yeah give us a, give us his number ben. oh i got you yeah <laughs> you know his number is yeah it's 50 okay <laughs> I thought it was seven. <laughs> Are you allowed to lose points on this? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, because I felt me. like that one you could have lost a half point. Well, this is why I'm the funny guy. <laughs> I, Jeff I, tries. He I'm does his little it. thing over there. But I'm getting it now. I yeah, get it now. Yeah, 15 people. You're comfortable. You're finally. You can just be whoever you want. He's so be. literal. I feel like I was like, you know, like 15 black guys. It's like, okay, so they're exactly yeah. 15 I mean, black be, American adults. Here's the thing. <laughs> guys, are, to, to make the show go easier for you, he's going to be asking you questions. He wants strict answers. Okay. Yeah. I'll so, try. like, if he's like, at what year he wants the exact year, not like 2020, he wants like 2022 okay. June or whatever. Okay. Yeah, I want specifics. So, we I got. I don't know what he's asking, but I know he wants specifics. <laughs> I so. want specifics. You know what I mean? It's you, 15, St. Thomas. You're like right. looking in the mirror and you're like, God damn it, this is who I am. <laughs> it's Black Ben Summer. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a year that was. What year was that? Fuck. Give me the year. It was. I want to know where I was when it happened. Yeah. It was. And how what? black I was becoming. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you were pretty black. I, yeah, at that time, yeah. I'd heard, I'd heard stories. I got it. Mm-hmm. What was that? 2008, 2009? No, it's got to be 2009, right? 2009? Okay. That feels right. So you're a little younger than Jeff and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. a touch. What are All you, 33? Right. No. 34? I'm th- about to be 36. Oh, so you're so, only a year younger than Yeah, Jeff one year right? younger. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So 2009, one nice. year after Obama won. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah, right. that helped a lot, actually. Yeah, I yeah, forgot I'm about sure. that. That was a big yeah. thing. That's good that stuff. was a big black year for me. I was smoking black and mild. <laughs> okay. I was hanging out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Barbecuing in the front yard. <laughs> That's as far as you got. <laughs> I was smoking a lot of Black and Miles, I think, was the number one thing. Were you in Indiana? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty uh, black. I still love to smoke Black and Miles. I, I think they one. taste delicious. I've had, like, one cigarette my entire life. Oh, These yeah? are, like, cigars yeah. with uh, a yeah. uh, little plastic, plastic thing. tip. Yeah. I also like chewing on that tip. You dip? No. Ooh. I always thought it was gross. Interesting. Wow, you of all people. I know. Grossest man I know. Right. All right. All right, Ben. Not it's, uh, you got other. There's other kids in your family, right? It's, yeah. That's not, you're not an only or nothing. No. So, all right, you got they a multiple adopt kids. just one. They did adopt just one. Yeah. No, but I mean, but they, it's weird when you just adopt one kid and you're like, that's it. Well, we're only having one, and we're going to make them extra weird. Am I allowed to expand on what's – okay, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> am I allowed to expand on this, or do I have to wait for your you follow-up? Expand. Okay. Yeah, you can expand. So I have an older sister, and then my mom, they, she had, like, cancer, I guess. Cancer, whatever, sure. allegedly. quotes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, she had, like, stomach ulcers, not – I don't – Something masses in her stomach. They had to do surgery. They told her she couldn't have kids. Uh, so they adopted me. Mm-hmm. And then, oopsie doodle, two other kids came. So, yeah. so there's four total. So, yeah. So sci- I don't believe science. That's what oh, I'm saying. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. That's a, here's, a little, here's a little thing. Don't listen to doctors. Mm-hmm. Wrap it up. Mm-hmm. Do, even if doctors are like, she can't have kids, don't be shooting in there. Right. <laughs> God. Leave wrap, your guns at home, folks. Wrap that baby up, bro. All right. So we got, uh, there's four of you. So to your best of your abilities, uh, rank the children that your parents were the their most favorites to okay. least favorite. That's actually pretty easy. Oh, really? Yeah. It's my brother, Alex. So he's the oldest? Uh, he's underneath me. He's the favorite. He's middle with me. My, oh. older, my oldest sister, me, my brother, Alex. Okay, so my brother Alex, my youngest sister Gabby, 
And then maybe like tied for last, me and my older sister. Oh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> the youngers and the olders are yeah. wow, interesting. You no, know, I feel like they they do a good job of like taking care of my mom and like hanging out with her and stuff. So I, I gotta imagine they're at the top. You know what I mean? I just, oh, so your, that's why. Is your older sister gone? No. Or does she, she just not give a fuck? She has her own family. She's got a oh, bunch of got kids and stuff. Oh, so she's yeah, gotta yeah. You know. Okay. So they like the second to last because they're like wiping their butts or something? Yeah, I don't know if I know. Grocery shopping for them. Yeah, taking care of the old. Well, people. they're not. My mom can wipe her own ass. If that's no, what you're no. She's riddled with cancer. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, the cancer's gone. <laughs> She's riddled with quote unquote cancer. Yeah. <laughs> wipe my butt. My cancer's out. She always. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't think we're at the point where anyone in my family has had to wipe my mom's ass yet. But. Oh. If we have to, it's going to be those two. Alex or Gabby are going to have to do it. <laughs> Second to last, yeah, yeah. and then hey, the youngest. I'd love to do it, but I'm, you know, I'm out here in New York fucking chasing my damn dreams. That's, sorry. Yeah. Too busy. And you're tied with last with the, uh, the oldest child. and Because yeah. uh, they got families. Yeah. And then yours is what, out being in New York? Just you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, yeah, they probably wanted, they paid a lot of money for me. You know, it, yeah. it feels like they probably wanted more out of me, and I haven't really given them that. Yeah, they so. sent you to a private St. Thomas school. I got in there my, on my own. They don't, <laughs> they, didn't, yeah. they didn't send me there. Oh, okay. Well, it seems like you've done nothing with that uh, degree. I would agree with that. So why did you, oh, no, that's not a question <laughs> for the show. <laughs> I was going to say, why did you work so hard to do that and then fail in life? But that's a question for Jeff. Yeah, you don't ask the questions. I ask, leave, don't answer that, Ben. <laughs> don't answer that question. I would love to answer, but I'm sorry. I have no, to. No, no, no. We don't want to know you fail, how I, you failed at life. Okay. All right. There's no, gotcha. we don't need that question. Anymore. Are you You're killing me after this podcast? <laughs> you, know, you know what's so funny is you got a degree from a very nice school. and You don't know that it's a nice school. You said it was nice. That's a, that's a private white institution. You assume that meant nice. Private's well, usually nice. Nice, yeah. Notre okay. Dame's nice. Is it? Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but, so you got a degree from your little college or whatever. Mm-hmm. I got a 1.8 GPA in high school. I'm proud of you, man. And we're both in the same, same place. <laughs> How does that feel? Well, the difference is you asked me to be here, so I still feel like I'm winning. That's but. true. That's true, yeah. <laughs> I was just saying status-wise... Yeah, and you work here. So and I do work here. Yeah. If anything, I'm winning. So oh. moving on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's, that's true. true. All right, Jeff next gets question. Jeff out on a boat with fucking horribly fat people all the time, make them laugh. What a kind of mood are you in today? It doesn't seem where he likes fat people that much. I today. know, right? He's very shamey. You, did you know that I was on today? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. But you're you're one of the good ones. You're not wearing. Oh, I hate this. Sam, not, what are you doing? I hate this. Hey, I'm I'm gonna Kofi sister you right now. <laughs> yeah, you yeah you're Buddhist, not wearing man. big Mickey Mouse sweatshirts around. I would if there was your, a fashionable one. On your on your uh, oxygen tank. You're from Indiana. You can't hate. You have to be so used to fat people that it should feel like home. I've lived you. here for too long now. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm used to the beautiful people of New York. All right. All right, Ben, you just got married. Uh, let's see here. Do you see yourself adopting a kid? Oh, that's why or why not? Uh, yeah, we've talked about this. I yeah? would. Uh, I would adopt. I. I just need to. If I have money, if I don't have money, I think it's a shitty thing to do. So you to adopt would. Me. I would. If you have money. Yeah. How much money do you need? If I'm if I'm, I'm just number. on my own making like, 150k. One? Maybe maybe two hundred k. Two hundred k. It's New York. You got it. It costs seventy five. But that's just me for a single. And then my wife is making more than that. Yeah, I could adopt a kid. So you need two hundred, and she needs two hundred and fifty. She needs like five hundred. For you to adopt. Yeah. There's poor children that are like, please adopt me, and you're like, I'm only making hundred and fifty thousand a year. Yeah. Sorry, little buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> Enjoy your life in the shithole <laughs> while fucking Daddy Ben goes and works for get more money. Yeah, I'm, I'm making two hundred a year. I'm gonna go ride some some sailboats. <laughs> These that's poor right. children. I want to give them a good life. Oh. Yeah. I want to take them on yeah. a cruise ship and have you working. Be like, don't be wow. like him. You know? We'll Jeff. talk about you know success and then pulling the ladder up behind <laughs> you. <laughs> No, I'm open to it. Also, also, Jeff thinks it's just fine to be poor and have a bunch of children. Yeah, that's totally fine. You're, you, it happens all over the world. You're one of two? Yeah. Did, uh-huh. it, did you like it? Did, what did you, would you have liked to have more money, or do you think it was perfectly fine? I think it was perfectly fine. You don't need money. You need love. <sighs> but you, Jeff's you a money. different kind of poor. Jeff's woods poor. 
Yeah. You would be having poor city children. Yeah. I can't. I can't just go were, back to the it's woods. Harder in the, it's harder in the city. Yeah. You were woods poor, too, weren't you? I was woods poor. That is correct. See? And yeah. you can just make little and move out to the woods with a bunch of adopted kids. I love that for you. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. Feel, doesn't feel like a question, but... Uh, That's what we're going to write down. Okay. Adopt a, why don't you adopt a bunch of kids, move to the woods with them? Sure, yeah. Moves you're, to woods. Microdose adopt- starting a cult is what you're saying. That's exactly the adoption what agency, they're like, so what's your plan with the children? Well, I'm going to ground them up <laughs> and move on out to the woods with them. Give yeah. me your most woods-friendly little adoptees. That's we'll, great. We'll take them out. Well, okay. That's good for you. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I don't need any money. I just need a plot of land with some trees on it. I take uh, it back. Good. All right. Let's move on. Palette cleanser. Let's do a little fun one. Ben, would you like to uh, read minds or control minds? Oh. What would you rather? I, okay. Would you rather have? I have an answer. I feel like you're going to twist it. Uh oh. I would rather control minds. Mm. Rapist. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So you understand. <laughs> I don't want to read minds because I don't really want to know what. So when I hang out with Tim, Tim tells me exactly what he thinks about me in the moment, and yeah. it almost always feels bad. Sure. So I don't want that where it's just, I'm just reading a stranger's mind, and then they're like, oh, this fucking piece of shit, get out of here. He's not even going to adopt a kid or whatever. You know this what I mean? This guy doesn't even get it. In my mind, when I'm saying mean shit to Ben, I'm like, what a nice, funny, handsome man. <laughs> yeah, he's the opposite. I'm so happy to have friends like this, I say to myself. Yeah, he's flipped. What he says out loud okay. is, the, is the part he keeps inside. Yeah. Okay. So inside, if you could read nice. minds, your heart would be filled with joy. <laughs> yeah. But instead, you just want to control me so that I say nice things to you from now on. Or at least just less racist, I think. I'm yeah. not even being that racist. No, not to me. I just think in general. There you if go. If I just followed you around, it's like, Tim, be less racist. So oh, sure. All right. I think it would help you. Because I, I try not to be racist to my friends. But I <laughs> guess in real life, I got I to gotta, I gotta work on some Shut stuff. Up. <laughs> All right. So you're going going control. I'm, stick, I'm sticking with it. Yeah, control. You can. You can and what are you going to be doing? Give me some examples. Honestly, nothing. I'll just do nothing. Unless someone's like being shitty on the subway like if they're on their phone walking up the steps i could control their mind and make them like that's all you would do i'm not gonna what what should i do i mean that is a pretty good power if you can get people to move out of your way yeah i just think that's fine that's That's all i need that's all you do just move them a little (laughs) bit you're not gonna change the president's policy he's doing a great job (laughs) Every president from the beginning has done a great job. I got no problems with that. You're them. not taking it's dictators no. out. What dictators? The world's fine. Look at us. We're doing a podcast. If the world's so bad, how come we're having a good time? Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. Thank you. Everyone's like, what can we do to save the Uyghur people? <laughs> and Ben's like, this person's too slow on the stairs. It's yeah. weird when you know a thing. I forget that you know things yeah. sometimes. Yeah, I'm incredibly intelligent. Okay, I would use my power to <laughs> no. shut your mind down yeah. a little bit. Yeah, you would stop Jeff from being incredibly intelligent. (laughs) All right, he controls mine and he moves people out of his way. I think that's nice. I'd read minds because I like to play poker and I would love to win a ton of money playing poker. As a gambler, that's a good one for you. That's good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would read minds as well and use it in the stock market. Similar money stuff. How would Why that would help you control you? minds? Because if you could control them, then you could make them do the moves you want in the stock market to yeah. fulfill your thing that you want. That I don't want the control. That's too much power. <laughs> I don't want that. Who's, Jeff's who's, a sub. Jeff's yeah. a sub. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's too much. I'm not God. Yeah. Who's, whose mind would you read to like do well in the stock market? Though? I don't know. Some guy that's like, like about to buy a company. You know, okay, yeah, I'm yeah. going to be like. Yeah, yeah, here's mine. Be like, I'm actually going to get out of this deal. I'm <laughs> like, sell, sell, sell. <laughs> okay. You know? When are you hanging around these people? I'm just wandering around Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> just wandering around Wall Street like this. <laughs> you hear something, like, sir, where do you work? I need to know where you work. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to power lunches, sitting yeah. in the corner. Yeah. Well, yeah, what's your range of mind reading? Uh, and can it be amplified? Uh, it's Four inches. Mm. <laughs> four inches? <laughs> you got to make out with someone. I got to get real in there. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, man. You got to uh, damn kiss a man. Hey, it's his question. So yeah. if, this is what you, if you got to kiss a guy to read a mind, I respect that. All right, well, that's still pretty good because you could read the minds of two people that you're sitting next to, I guess, at the poker table. That's yeah. true. Which yeah. is still 
pretty fucking good. You, you could read against them. You could have a threesome. You could read both people's minds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're both like, yeah. I want to get out of this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could fuck two CEOs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'll be like, I guess I'll get a glass of water. <laughs> yeah. You guys can do what you need. <laughs> they're both like, Tim's really having a bad time. I think he already came. Why is he still trying? <laughs> All right, moving on here. All right, Ben, what about this one? Recently married, uh, happy as can be. Um, <laughs> is there any way? Let's it's see. True. It's true. Yeah. Could you, do you think, why or why not, uh, get over your wife cheating on you? Oh, that's an interesting okay. question. Yeah, she cheats on you. Ben, I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. I'll never do it again. Oh, <laughs> you think it's with you? Huh? No, I'll be, oh, I'll be in your wife. Her? I'm okay. her. No. I was cheating with you? No. Imagine yeah. Jeff is your wife. I'm a, yeah, I'm your wife right Close now. Close your eyes. Yeah. Okay. Jeff, take him there. Dude, I'm so sorry, but I couldn't help it. Oh, my wife is Marge Simpson. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll fine. I'll do it. Oh, Ben, I, I can't believe I cheated on you. Okay. My, <laughs> She's a southern belle. Oh, I was going to say my wife is Aunt Jemima. I didn't know <laughs> what you were. Okay. <laughs> I was hot as blazes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he took me in on a hot summer's day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> no, finish it. That's what I'd say. Okay, uh, <laughs> okay. So am I getting? So I get over it and get back with her, or stay with her, or just like get over it mentally and I maybe uh, break get over up and over. stay with? Like, could you could you keep the marriage cooking after she just bounced up and down on a guy's big hog? Yeah, no, oh, even small. <laughs> wow, she's <laughs> she's gonna be on top for him. Yeah, wow. Put, Maybe not. That I, putting in the fucking work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. <laughs> when I'm with my husband, I make him do all the work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This guy was wearing shoes. Oh. <laughs> so he's some, from the Bronx. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's no, see. I don't take my Tims off ever. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah. I I think it definitely depends on the situation, but I lean toward yeah. I could probably get over it. our relationship would change, but I, I think I could be I could get over it. You could get past it. Yeah. Now why is this? She makes more money than me, so <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you problem. shallow dog. No, I mean in general, I do love her. She is Aww. one of my one of one of my best friends. If she sees this, not the best. Oh, uh, <laughs> I love <laughs> this. Stop it. What? <laughs> She's his best friend. One of oh and. You know, we've we've been together a long time. We've been oh, together almost yeah. ten years. Through all of it. So, oh, like, if we yeah. could we could find a way to move forward, I could oh, do it. Oh, this is lovely. But if it was you, I would kill her. <laughs> <laughs> I would oh murder her. Oh my god, I'd help you. Put me in court. <laughs> you put me in jail right now, dog. I don't even yeah. care. I would fucking kill all right. So you just it, love overpowers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should keep that in. I think that was pretty bad. No, that guy straight up sucked. Okay. Yeah, cut that out. I'm going to cut that out. That it was stunk. weird. It was weird. I hated him. He wasn't great at improv. No. Shouldn't no. he have been better? He interrupted me in my deep question about love, too. Oh. We were getting places. I feel like we got through it. No. I thought My I wife thought, can have sex with whoever she wants except for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. She cheats on you. You're fine. You'll get yeah. back because she's your best friend. One of my best friends. I'll put a little caption. Man walked in during the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Well, well you, Jeff, you can ask your question. I'm going to lock the door. Oh, okay. All right. Go lock the door. Keep that man out of here. He was hammered. I don't. It felt like that was just his vibe. I thought he was drunk, but it really just felt like he was just like, oh, uh, excuse me, sire. You know what I mean? You didn't yeah, feel that? Yeah, yeah, Beat it, sucker. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> the door is now locked. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Beat it, sucker. It's pretty funny. Uh, all right, so cheats Johnny at one time. What, are we, what about two times? Two times same person, two times di- one, like, We'll go different. different. She's traveling the world. <laughs> Traveling the world, yeah. making us money so we can adopt kids yeah. in the city. Yeah. Oh boy. It happened again. I think a year in between, at least a year. I think I the second time I'd say no. Oh yeah. The second time I'm like, hey, you can sling that thing wherever you want, baby girl, but I can't. I you're can't done. hang with you. Yeah. You're a, a strike one type. One no, strike, I'm a strike, you're out. I'm two strikes, you're out. Oh, two strikes, you're out. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Two strikes, you're out. All right. Two strike, Ben. I love that. 
You know what's funny? Your two strike bin. I feel like you're gonna fucking call me that forever. That's gonna bother what, me. What two strike nah, bin? He'll forget, he'll forget. No. You know what women call them? Two stroke bin. I know that's right. <laughs> Splurt. But um, each stroke is forty five minutes, so it's fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. Real. <laughs> it's a real, this real is cartoonish long reason. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like watching Yertle the damn turtle. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, all right, Ben, you're a stand-up comedian. Uh, how far do you want to go with stand-up? Uh, I would just love to open for you. No, I'm just kidding. I know we're not supposed to do bits. All yeah, right, no bits, Ben. <laughs> ah, fuck. So far. I, I know it. the audience probably is like, he should want to open for Jeff. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. love Jeff. Do they the love Jeff? The audience loves Jeff. I Did think they, they dislike me, I think. Yeah, yeah. And they love Jeff. Tim got me out, but But I you're agree. loved on your other podcast, I feel like, right? I play a different character on that, though, but yeah. Oh, you're doing a character? Is that what this is? Crazy that people love that. That's yeah. Insane. <laughs> it's insane. That's insane. <laughs> it's like the worst thing in the world. That's crazy. How far do I want to take stand-up? Yeah, how far do you want to take it? I want to work uh, eight clubs. I want to... You want to work a club? Eight clubs. I want to work yeah. one a club. club. No, a club. You know, a, a rooms. Yeah, Come a on, rooms. Buddy. He's working a rooms. I, I just want to work... At an improv and funny bow. Okay. Oh. That's it? God, those are pretty intimidating. Is that, uh, that's the only, that's as far as a dream takes you? Stand up specifically? Mm hmm. I don't want to, what am I going to do an arena tour? That's not who I am. No, no arena. You're not for an ben. arena guy? Why no. not? I, it's just not who I am. All right. I guess you don't have to be good to do it. Like, to no. headline one, you could, you should be. You should be a draw, I guess, but like you have to be a draw, but you don't have to be good. You don't have to be good to open. I could open. I would like to open on an arena tour. I've decided. Okay, opens opens at <laughs> headline <arenas>. friend <laughs> friend with famous comedian. I think is what he wants to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's as far as you want to go to stand up. <laughs> Bert Kreischer's buddy. <laughs> I mean, they seem like they're having a great time. I gotta be I honest. I mean, Shane keeps saying it's the best time he's ever had, and Shane hates everything. Yeah, so that's amazing. Um, all right, so you're opening at arenas and you're working the A rooms. <laughs> a rooms. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, honest answer is just make something that uh, appeals to people who kind of grew up like me who were like, I don't know. I don't really know who I was until I was older. Like, I want to talk to those people. I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah oh, you want to nice. connect with the law? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Connects. Ben was once lost, but then 15 black people at <laughs> <in> his college found <laughs> him. <laughs> wow, all right, I like that. He's going to the local Funny Bones, finding the local lost people and connected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know that they're at the Funny Bones. Oh, yeah, yeah. gosh. All right, good stuff there. Oh, you're in Libertyville, Ohio. Yeah, you got, you got some yeah. lost early 20-somethings. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. What up, Leah? <laughs> I love it. Oh, you're good. Um, all right, Ben. <laughs> Light question. What is the number one movie of all time? Oh, wow. For me, I can answer this for me, of course. Yeah. yeah. Tombstone. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's I good. I fucking love Tombstone. Yeah, that is good. And then Rocky, of course, is number two, but okay. a very close number two. But Tombstone is number one in my book. Tombstone is number one. That's a solid choice. I'll put that Tim and Asterix. There is a right answer to this. Yeah, band. there is a right answer. Yeah. Are either of those the right answer? Uh, is Tombstone or Rocky right? No, those aren't the right ones. But uh, What's your answer? I'll tell you after I get yours. We've got to hear your number yeah. one movie of all time. I want it to be personal, too. Let's see if it lines okay, up Okay, so mine. it should be... It, it's mine. It's yeah. not what I think yeah, it is. It's your yes. number one movie of all time. My number yeah. one movie of all time is Tombstone. I've probably watched it nine million times. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Oh, uh, he's my Huckleberry. Yeah. Never seen it. Yeah, uh, you never saw Tombstone? It's awesome. If you grew up with white people, you're going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> They weren't like cowboy whites. <laughs> <laughs> you were raised by cowboys. <laughs> Every time I see my parents, they're like, draw! <laughs> you know, they don't do that. Uh, I, okay, I mean, I don't think they're going to line with yours, but 40-Year-Old yeah. Virgin 
Or that's your number one. Or dazed and confused. Pick one. Wow, you got to pick one. one of them. Dazed and confused. Dazed and confused. Yeah, I can see one. Jeff picking that. It's I not. feel like Jeff is gonna pick. I don't. Let me think. Hold on. It's gonna be something with Vin Diesel. I feel wow. Like. No. Dazed and confused. Bet, that's a great movie. I really like that movie. I bet Jeff picks like a hundred and two Dalmatians. Or no, something. no. The right answer was Avengers Endgame. <laughs> <laughs> So sorry, Avengers you got that one. I liked Infinity War better. Yeah. I gotta be oh yeah? yeah. Oh. Avengers Endgame is pretty good though. Yeah, that's the that's the number one. That's the greatest movie of all time. The new Sam Jackson show has gotten pretty good. I didn't watch the latest one. It's got it's pretty good. Okay. Oh, is that um, Disney Plus? Yeah. I just uh, subscribed to Warhammer Plus TV so I can watch animated Warhammer Wait, movies. What? What's Warham- the game? Warhammer Forty K. How much does that cost? Six ninety nine a month to watch animated Warhammer <laughs> games. <laughs> no animated Warhammer shows. Like they're like in the Warhammer universe. Is Warhammer a game? Yeah, it's a it's, it's a, a tabletop. tabletop game. I'm getting where, real oh, into it. Where you get these little figurines and stuff. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. that's insane. I am going to. I had Discovery Plus, of course, to watch Deadliest Catch because I love Deadliest Catch. Sure. But now it's Discovery Plus is melded with. HBO Max. Yes. Mm-hmm. So if you have HBO Max, you can just cancel uh, Discovery Plus. Yeah, it wasn't a smart move on their on their part. I feel like to merge all that shit. Yeah, because now it's like money. now you can get every Forged in Fire and Deadliest Catch on HBO Max. Wait, Forged in Fire is on HBO Max? Yeah, because it was on Discovery Plus. Oh, that's excellent. We is should just th- turn the podcast off and just watch the show. It feels like. Yeah. Have you ever watched Forged in Fire? A little bit, I think. It oh, is the they best make swords show. And shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. They make knives and stuff. It yeah. is the best cool. show to go to bed to, my man. Yeah. Do you guys watch Alone? I've watched Alone. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I've never seen it. I feel like you would like it. What is it about? They just drop people off in like the wilderness and shit. And oh yeah, I'd survive probably, for yeah, like a hundred yeah, yeah. days. I like yeah. it. I think you would like it because you'd be like, I could fucking do that. I here's the thing. I don't think I could do it. Okay. Because it looks like a real fucking hassle, and I really <laughs> don't want to deal with it. <laughs> You just get dropped up by the helicopter. I'd be like, this is so annoying. Just come pick me back up. The, the big positive, though, to keeping yourself alive is that trash is everywhere. Okay. Yeah, that is true. That's... So, like, if you're ever, like, on the beach or something, you can always find some trash that can help you. That is 100% correct. Yeah, there's always I, – I found some trash that can help me. So, if you're listening or come watching this, just always your look friends. for some trash. Your friends. <laughs> Is he, was he pointing at me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm I didn't trash. love it. I didn't I didn't engage in it. All it's right. all right. All right, Ben. Let's see here. Two part questions, a double. I'm just gonna combine them. I realize I wrote them separately, but we'll just combine the two. Why did you get married? And why to a white woman? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hit me with the double whys. <laughs> I want on one why, then I want to answer the other why. Yeah. Okay. Let's hear them. Uh, so why did you get married, number one? Yeah. I got married because I love her very much, and she's one of the only people I trust. Oh, trust? So, you know. That cheating The cheating thing was yeah. pretty yeah. close to home. Okay. Uh, and she just really uh, makes me feel like it's okay to be myself. Oh. And I love her. So Stop. I married her. That's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Stop doing that. It's pissing me off. It's so weird and gross. <laughs> it's so nasty. I love love. Oh, and, uh, I want them to trust me. I married a white woman because that was the only race that would settle. So, ah. oh, okay. Nobody, none of the other races love love daddy. Oh yeah. Why All would right. you write it right there? Whites settle. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, whites do settle all over the world. Hey, uh, that's right. Come on, there we go. It's ours. All right, and you met in Minnesota? Yeah, we met in Minnesota. We met in college, but we didn't start dating until after. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You met and got your friends first? Yeah. Oh, right. my God. <laughs> yeah, that one felt bad. That one I didn't like. Friends. I haven't liked any of them. They've <laughs> all been disgusting. I love how you can marry a friend. Okay. Do you have a problem with me marrying a white woman? No, not at all. I just wanted to know why. If there was a subconscious thing, maybe that, you know, that was like, because yeah. people say we seek uh, partners that remind us of our parents. And I was wondering, maybe there's a connection to her and your mother. Hmm? What do you think of that? A little psychological there. Yeah, huh? Jeff's very intelligent. Yeah, <laughs> I'm incredibly intelligent. Picking up on that. God, I wish I could just shut yeah, your you mind down is, right now. Do you think this is an Electra Complex situation? Yeah, what do we think? What? 
An Electra complex. That's the opposite of an Oedipus complex. No, I've never. Oh, interesting. Uh, no. That's where you want to kill yeah. your mom and bang your dad. Electra complex. <laughs> All right. Isn't there a movie about that? Uh, Electra Yeah, starring uh, uh, Ben Affleck's ex-wife. Mm-hmm. Jennifer Garner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Electra. Yeah, she's okay. Electra Nachios. <laughs> Uh, um, no, I don't think I... You don't think that's in there? You don't think you have No, that? she was just really nice to me, and we fell in love. Fine, all right. I, I wanted to get a little bit in the... Little I, wish, I wish she was any other race. Uh, I really do, but... And you know what's in my head right now? Why wouldn't she be nice to Benny? He's such a great guy. <laughs> oh, he's, a, he's great. <laughs> I love how she was friends with him first. Yeah, you, know? you like that? Yeah, I like friendship. And then I love it when it turns into love. Yeah. You know? oh, that's what about so you nice. and your lady? Were you guys friends first? Or I don't do. I don't answer questions on this one. Uh, you yeah. know? Oh, you're so, going to be answering some yeah. questions. I got yeah. a fucking question for you. No, buddy. no, no. There's no How questions How dare you? Me. Is that your question? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, since we just touched on the yell subject, because I thought there may be a connection there, but you won't give it to me. Which parent are you closer with? My and mom. Why? Whoa. No. <laughs> We're going I haven't talked to my dad in like 10 years. Really? Yeah, yeah. What happened there? How do you know I'm adopted but not know? I guess maybe we've never talked about this. I didn't uh, know about this. Uh, Mom adopts you. Dad leaves. No, they they both. It was a joint. <laughs> <laughs> no, they both left. He's <laughs> like, if you adopt that kid, I'm out of here. <laughs> I will uh, not raise that adopted boy. I would have loved that for my family. That's pretty funny. Uh, no, we uh, we had a falling out a while ago. He. He was just, you know, he was just like an alcoholic and wasn't uh, dealing with it. And we were like, hey, man, we think you're an alcoholic and we love you and we want to get you some help. And he was like, I think it's your fault that I drink so much. And I was like, mm. I don't think we need to hang out anymore. Oh, okay. Wait, yeah. we mean we? The whole family did this? Yeah, we kind of, well, most of the family, I think. I can't remember who was all there. But, yeah, we kind of like sat him down. I'm like, hey, man, I think you got Intervention him. You interventioned your dad. We tra- well, it wasn't successful. Does yeah. it have to be successful? It doesn't to be have inter- to be. Okay. An intervention is okay. just the meeting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, we sat down and had a meeting with our dad. And you've interventioned the man, and he was like, no yeah. way. And then what? Wait, you haven't spoken to him in 10 years? Did he leave? I think it's got to be about 10. Or is he still home with your mom? He lives in a different place. He's somewhere. He lives in Minnesota. So Halfway I don't know house? No. Oh, he was out of there. He was like, I'm leaving this whole situation. No, we were, were like, well, okay. Take me there. Well, oh, you yeah. got to bleep this. You got to bleep this. All right? I don't want to bleep anything. What do we okay. got to bleep? Bleep. Okay, so just take this out, go bleep, and then just stretch it out. He basically, he had, you know how Tim has like gambling problems? Uh huh. So he gambled on his future with his family by losing all the money that they had. And so they lost, we lost our, I was older, but we lost our house. Mm. And I was like, Hey, that's kind of fucked up that we lost our house. Can you at least help us figure this out? And, uh, he didn't. <laughs> I was like, I don't like you. I have so much work to do on this episode. I'm just going to cut that out. That was so long. It's not even worth the bleep. You're going to cut People it out. People are going to get so annoyed that it's just like, Beep for 45 oh, I'm seconds. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to bleep that. I'm Are kidding. you sure? Yeah, I don't care. All right. All right. Dad gambled the house away. Ben he didn't like gamble house. the house away. He just didn't pay the bills. Didn't yeah. pay the bills. Yeah. yeah, he didn't put the keys to the house on the table. <laughs> and go, I'm all in. <laughs> he puts the keys on. Yeah. Ben's adoption papers. <laughs> <laughs> you can have this house in my black son. <laughs> <laughs> Call. <Yeah. laughs> That's funny. Oh, all right. So then mom is the favorite. Well, I see why. It would be, yeah. it would be such a slap in her face if I was like, I know my dad's pretty chill, you know? <laughs> yeah. that After all that. Yeah. Dude fucking party. Yeah. <laughs> my dad is cool. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see here. Uh, oh, okay. What about this? Uh, well, uh, where, uh, where would you like to visit in space? Oh. All of space. Oh, that's great. Anywhere that's really you want to go. Where? It's like. Uh, I mean, I'm talking different galaxies. Yeah, I'm thinking like Alpha Centauri Whoa. somewhere. <laughs> that's where they say the best chance for a lot uh, yeah. other life is. That's like our near. That's their closest galaxy, right? As far as like is like our galaxy, yeah. Yeah, and it oh. also might be the closest to us. I thought it was a planet. Isn't Alpha Centauri? No, I, it's I, a galaxy. It's a galaxy. It might be a planet. I'll look I it up. I think it's a planet. Quick. Well, yeah, look it up. You're the smart one. Yeah, yeah. You should know. I, you know what? I am the most intelligent. You gotta one be. Here. Yeah, you gotta be confident. Yeah, you're right. I lack confidence. I would. Lo- yeah, I would love to go to some Earth-like. Alpha planet. Centauri is a triple star system in the southern constellation so it's a of the solar system. Oh, we were all wrong. Centaurus. It consists of three stars. 
Oh, okay. It's a triple star system. So I want to go to an Earth-like planet in that system. Oh, okay. That's All where right. I want to go. Alpha, you want to go to Alpha Centauri? It'd take you six thousand years to get there. Ugh. Well, he can like we got we get in this in this scenario. Ben's got a real fast ship. Nice, oh, yeah. it's super fast. I love that. Yeah, and it also has like a bunch of sex robots on there. Oh, does it have movies or anything? I just it only has <laughs> Avengers streaming? Endgame. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's a good movie. Yeah, yeah, you have to watch that over and over. That's it says the apparent lack of any brown dwarfs or gas giants close to Alpha Centauri A and B make the likelihood of terrestrial planets greater than it would be otherwise, at least in theory. The chances of a rocky, potentially habitable planet in our neighboring solar system might therefore be as high as 75%. That's pretty high. Oh, that's a good that's chance. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I want to see what this storm is about in Jupiter. Oh, you want to go to the storm? You want to go to the red dot? That would be fucking wild. I just would like to be in a little bubble, see what's going on in there. You wouldn't wouldn't even be able to fathom. Like, it would be Uh, incomprehensible. That thing is huge. The Earth fits inside of the storm. You think it would be like when Gojo does his limitless uh, barrier? You don't even have to finish. Yeah. What? I know. Yeah, I do. What is, is this one? Is this One Piece? No, it's in Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> and I would like to go to the pl- the Moon Titan. Oh, okay. the Ice sure. Moon. Yeah, yeah. Sure. There might be water over there. Yeah. There is water over there. It would be. I think if there's life, it would be weird. Be yeah, I want to go life. into the ocean under the ice and see if there's any ice ice creatures. Hey, man, that's. I don't even like going in our ocean that much. Yeah, well, I'm in like a little fancy sub ship thing. Well, you we know? saw how that worked out. You know. Yeah. Oh well, no, this one's like better than that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's this see says, here. This says Titans, rivers, lakes, and seas of liquid methane and ethane. It's gas. Might mm. serve as habitable environments on the moon's surface, though the life there would be very different from life on Earth. Oh, yeah? That's what it says. Yeah. If you saw an alien, do you think you would, like, I'd kill you'd have, myself. like, a... <laughs> yeah, I really think... Were you... Did you live in New York when that uh, there was, like, an electrical explosion? No. And there was, like, a big blue light in the sky? Oh, no, I don't it, think so. It generally looked like we were being invaded, and I, I, had, I saw pictures. I was inside when it happened. If I was outside, I think I would have killed myself. Yeah. I I'd think I genuinely so would have killed myself. You guys would be all scared? I think the aliens are going to take us as slaves. I they, would, I would and welcome I'm gonna, it. I'm going to be honest. I saw what happened with slaves before. It doesn't look very fun, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't. I would welcome the probing. I would be like, I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Well, the probing, of course, you yeah. would love You're that. probe guy? Yeah. You getting probed? I'd get in my suction cube. Okay. You know? Okay. My latex suction cube. Like, sure. probe away, yeah. aliens. Yeah. And they'd yeah. be like, go away. You do kind of look like, <laughs> they're like, this guy's a fucking creep. <laughs> <laughs> Are they all like this? Let's get out of here. Yeah. I don't want to be. Uh, yeah. I saved the planet. Yeah. yeah that's, that's a gross, weird planet. They're like, yeah. send Jeff out there. They'll hate him. You do have suction tube energy. I oh, think. yeah. Yeah, I love getting suctioned. <laughs> um, Jeff's in the on the alien ship. He's like, "Oh my god, are you lo- in love? <laughs> I love your alien love." Oh, uh, aliens. Oh, 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 touch tentacles. Oh, touch tentacles. Put your eggs in me. <laughs> um, Did you see recently that uh, Mexican family that said they had a, a ship crash and uh, there was an extra an eight foot gray man standing in their backyard? They called the police. No, I didn't see that. No. You, you got to look it up. It's really interesting. Yeah, what we're, did he do? We're, what? Man. what he, he was do? standing in the. He was standing hiding behind their uh, 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 swing set. Oh, he was hiding because the, the <laughs> ship crashed. Hey, what are you doing back there? You're not on our swing set playing, are you? No, no, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. There's, he was there's hiding. All, there's all of these like ring camera videos from different houses oh, I on can't the street. Look at this. Yeah, nope, of Mario this thing chills, crashing. Uh huh. And nope. then no, 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 no. Nope. Then these. Then there's a phone call to 911. It's a real 911 phone call of these people being like, "There's a eight foot tall gray man in our backyard." Yeah, he's doing this. I don't know. We didn't. They, you don't well, see. There's I, no video of him, but yeah, they were, right. They, but there's um. Uh, Footage like uh, body cam footage from the police, yeah, of them interviewing the family, and the family's like, It was crazy. Yeah, uh, I'm talking mean, about. I think, I think we're very close. I mean, the, it's already out there where they're like, Yeah, we're seeing well. The they shit. say one of the theories is that aliens are waiting for people to be as accepting as possible of them before they come, 
so that it doesn't oh, freak. That's funny. I've actually never heard that. So that that's it doesn't funny. freak everybody out. Oh uh, yeah, to care? the point where they like want to kill themselves, like myself and Ben. Yeah. <laughs> They're to come to my apartment specifically now after they heard this. Yeah. There's a suction cube guy down there. I think they're ready for us. They're big fans of the pod. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> we do send all of these to space. Yeah, it goes into space. Yeah. We send uh, frequencies of the podcast to space. It's yeah. this and old Come Town episodes. So oh, yeah. yeah. All right, Ben. Uh, it's his and then Nick Mullen doing Chinese voice. <laughs> all right, Ben. What uh, Next question here. What bothers you most about women? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> what bothers you most? You know? Is it weird that I'm, like, stumped by this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're really taking it in. I, you know, you wanna, I want to make sure they hear it. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. You're not supposed to be funny. <laughs> what that's bothers good. me most about women? Yeah, that's a tough question. Let's hear it. I know there's something. There's got to be something. What is it? Women, I, I don't really have a big problem with women as a whole. Sure. I feel like. I, my <laughs> my big issue is that like they make me too horny. I guess you know. Really, but I feel like that's not on them. That's on me. You know. They make you too horny. They're very good looking. A lot of. So the you times. would like them maybe to cover up more? Yeah. Be, yeah. yeah. Roll around in some dirt. <laughs> burkas. <laughs> cover up more. But no. But that's also sexy. Is yeah. that not supposed to be sexy? That's very sexy when you're. Ben's only up. like Ben's like even cover the eyes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Put oh. sunglasses on as well if you're putting that burka on. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to see any flat. I don't want to. I don't want to know that there's a human being. On, it could be like. Three bowling balls stacked on top of. Well, that's not All enough right. bowling balls. So uh, that is no man, my dude. <laughs> maybe, maybe, yeah. I'll write down too much skin. Ah, that's, that's <laughs> not quite yeah, it. Yeah, Ben C. Doesn't feel right. He doesn't like all the skin they show him. All right, that's. I mean, that's a sad world you live in. But I mean, I don't. I'm glad I don't live in that. I don't do like when they woo at bars. Oh yeah! Fuck, that would have been a good one to say. Yeah. <laughs> that so much better. You're out here getting too horny, uh, yeah. I don't dangerously know. I horny. Like, oh okay. <laughs> Fucking painting his jeans. <laughs> painting the inside of his jeans. Two coats. <laughs> two of them, bro. All two, right. Two coats. That's my favorite rapper. Yeah, yeah. Two, two coats in the jeans. <laughs> Very sweaty rapper, but he's good. Yeah, he's always sweaty. What do you uh, What do you miss most about the Midwest? Summers. Swimming, oh, really? swimming in the summer, absolutely. You can swim here in the summer. It's not it the same. Sucks. It's not the fucking it same. It fucking sucks. It takes so here. long to get to the fucking beach, and it sucks. There's glass everywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, swimming. Uh, the fucking. They got uh, pools here. You can go to the pool. Yeah, it, it sucks. They're packed. Everyone there is fucking a horrible person. I've been to the pools. They're nice. You're one of the horrible people he's talking yeah. about. I mean, do I shit in there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I gonna go? Yeah. <laughs> So you miss the summers and swimming. Yeah, man. That was I great. do miss swimming, like uh, yeah, having a friend with like a pool. Fucking sick. Just a lake. Just a pontoon. Oh, a lake. Lake is the best. You were a lake man. Yeah, we had a lake behind our house. There's oh, yeah? nothing scary in a lake. Yeah, you you know you you kind of you're like oh snapping turtle maybe, but like you're, there's well, no fucking sharks. Turtle ain't gonna come at you. Yeah, you know you just. It it'll or swim away from you or whatever. I mean, it'll. it'll if you're it, digging around the mud down there, it might yeah, get your toes a little bit. bit. Oh, like a turtle or something? Yeah, you got to watch out for those. But <laughs> yeah. we were just, what were you listening to? We were just talking about a snapping turtle for like 40 seconds. I don't know. I zoned out. I'm looking at my questions. Uh, let's see. Oh, like a turtle or something? Yeah, like a turtle oh, yeah. or something? There you go. Have your whole conversation, boys. <laughs> Thanks, Seth Rogen. All right. Let me get back on track oh, here. Sure. Uh, all right, Ben. Uh, let's see here. What about, about, have you noticed your wife or parents being racist, and did you say something? <laughs> my wife never. Yeah. My parents, no. But I... <laughs> oh, there's a but. I'm sure. Yes. I have to... I, everyone outside of my wife and my siblings in my family, I feel like... Uh-huh. There's had to have been a time where they were racist. Extended, oh, extended sure. family, for sure, no question. Extended family. Oh, like, you're assuming, but you haven't seen. I haven't seen, per se, but I assume that it's had to have happened. Oh, okay. I don't think anyone would have the audacity to be racist from me. They know I'd fuck their shit up. Not even like a subtle one, you know? You know, like a, like a, you know, like, this is a weird place. No, I think my mom is, like, in love with, like, this black guy that comes to her job. So I think she's good. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. All you right. know, honestly, I think I might have got that going a little bit. But, uh, oh, dear Lord. Oh, that's great. <laughs> is that too I much? love that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> More love. God. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. 
kind of person. <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, I, I, I really, I, I haven't seen. Have never noticed. Uh, I bet my dad. No, I take it back. My dad definitely. Oh yeah. He he was like a big Rush Limbaugh guy. I didn't oh. know. Any of that. So like so I'm now yeah. There was there had to be something. There was something going on. There was some Rush Limbaugh that, point. He there parroted. was a, there were breadcrumbs to being like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he's been like these people before. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve is listening to Rush. R- listen to Rush Limbaugh work every day. <laughs> Still, even now he's listening to old reruns. Yeah, he listens to reruns. He listens to Dan Patrick. Then he throws on his cassette tape of a rerun. Oh, okay, so your dad had a Rush. Limbaugh face, but yeah. you never said anything to him, like Dad, knock it off with the rush. I didn't. I didn't understand what it was until now, like much older. You oh, know you didn't know what Rush Limbaugh was? I didn't really get it. I, I, I was like a kid. Oh, really? Yeah, I understood at a very early age. <laughs> well, you're just so intelligent. <laughs> You go, look, he's, I understand that it's kind of theater, but he's really hurting people with his views. <laughs> Jeff was so poor. Can I have a snack? <laughs> Jeff I'm was tired. so poor they couldn't even afford FM radio. <laughs> <laughs> we would listen to, uh, was it AM uh, Car Talk radio? Oh, yeah. White people uh, love that talk. shit. Yeah. yeah, Car Talk with the, cl- the Click and Clack brothers. Ugh. I would listen to, I would listen to uh, what's the, the scary one at night with George uh, Nori? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't about. know what that is either. Uh, Scary Night with George and Dr. <laughs> Love Line with Dr. Drew? No. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, all right, let's see here. Palate cleanse. Let's do this. What's your go-to deli sandwich? Coast about, to coast. Is is what it I would, scary? It would, they, it would all be about the paranormal and shit. Oh, That's where I heard about the aliens wanting to get us uh, accustomed to them being around. So you're still listening to that? I mean, it still happens. I mean, I listen to it if I'm in the car driving. Okay. I got you. All right, sorry. Best sandwich. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the answer is Italian sandwich. <laughs> That's my wife's favorite sandwich. It's the best sandwich. It's never bad. It's always good. You can get it anywhere, and it's always good. I like yeah. to do a wrap. I like to do a grilled chicken wrap with a bacon. Grilled chicken wrap. Bacon. That fucking lettuce, sucks. Yeah, that sucks, Jeff, man. Jeff, deduct yeah. six points. That's going to cost you. That you are going to be at a four, my man. Oh, no. Yeah. My clout. Yeah. Deli sandwich. He goes with a Wait, I was at a ten? I was doing 10? I mean, assuming I was 10 level? Assuming. Yeah, yeah, we're assuming. You've been a good guest so far. You've given us a bunch of, you know, you've given us good answers. Yeah, yeah, you're giving us solid answers. But this one, chicken wrap with bacon. I'm a little surprised that this one bombs so hard. Yeah, Chicken wrap with bacon sucks, bro. Not that you both aren't into it, but that you hate it so much for me. I hate wraps. The chicken, I don't, I, I actually like a buffalo chicken wrap sometimes, but the chicken can get dry so easily. Yeah, I like dry chicken. Yeah. I don't care. You like dry, you're dry chicken. I was raised poor. I'm a poor person. I yeah. don't like I like a turkey and food. cheese. Jeff, that fucking that's, sucks too. That's not great. <laughs> what are you, fucking Ben's family? The whitest man alive? I got some turkey and cheese. That's good. Oh, uh, that got me. Dear Lord. <laughs> mm. Italian is the right answer. All right. You can get Italian sandwich, always good. Do you do peppers on it? Uh, I do sweet peppers. Okay. Hot oh, yeah. peppers fucked my stomach up too bad. Give oh, me a bad heartburn. Sure, sure, I sure, bet. Sure. You're a little sweet pepper. I am a little sweet pepper. All right. It feels like a slur when you say it. No, don't be a sweet pepper. That's what, it's what you call a gay <laughs> Italian. Yeah, sweet pepper. Uh, let's see. Well, we were talking you having kids. You're on the fence about adopting. I hope you do. I really hope this family grows, and I want to see it happen. No, you'll never be allowed. Um, I'll be <laughs> That's crazy. I'll find out what's, what school your kids go to yeah. and try to line them up with mine. Sure. Are um, you going to have kids? Oh, you bet. Same time as you. I'm going to time it perfectly so they grow up together. Maybe okay. marry each other. Okay. And then we become family. Jeff's banging Chelsea. Okay. He goes, you think Ben's shooting? Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think Ben's going to be shooting right now. Yeah. She's like, you don't have to do it at the same exact yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Time. Sh- sh- uh, we need to have a girl. Okay. Um, need? What? If Ben has like a boy, you know, like I gotta like, oh, uh, so, that they so can we can have like a family, oh. then we can have like grandkids. They can't gay marry. Is uh, this your yeah, lo- I guess, and then they can adopt. Yeah. All right, is this, is this your long con to get into Ben's family and then bang his wife? <laughs> yeah, and I go. You said I get one. <laughs> uh, oh, that would be devastating for me. Yeah, it would be hard for you. What kind of world would you want your kids to grow up in? What do you want the world to look like for your children? Man, not what it's going to be. Oh, I know, but what do you want? Fuck, An ideal, man. euphoric society. Yeah, let's for go ideal one. and what you think. Yeah. Give me two. 
one where we know whether or not aliens actually exist. Oh, okay. We I mean, have they do. They do. like unlimited energy. We have an unlimited energy source. So nobody's fighting for like water or power or whatever the fuck. Probably it given it to us by the aliens. Yeah, most likely. Okay. All so right. I guess, yeah, I'm going to actually pull back. Yeah, a world where aliens exist and they've helped us okay. and we're like chill now. Oh, that's what you want. I think so. That's the world you yeah. hope that your kids get. Yeah. Aliens. Chill alien socialism. Aliens <laughs> help <laughs> socialism. All right. And what do you think is going to happen? They're probably going to have to fight each other for water. Okay. Water that's, wars. That's my guess. Yeah. You got right. have multiple kids so they can eat the weakest one. And, oh, then, okay. and then they're on their own. And they after drink that. the blood for water. Of yeah, 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 sure, sure. Yeah, just like Dune, they got to suck the blood out of you and create water. Just like Dune. Yep. Yeah, that's what they do. I think they bleed the water out of you. <laughs> We're at fifty-three, Jeff. All right, well, I got a <laughs> couple more left. I got a couple more. And then there's a page where I get to write a question and ask it, right? Um, no, then you leave, and then we do our Patreon where we talk about you and your answers. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Patreon.com slash tough questions. Yeah, Patreon. Check out the Patreon. We just go over Tim and I go over Ben's. And then you'll give me a link so I can see that? Or? No, you got no, to yeah, yeah. for the episode. Yeah, yeah we talk about sure. you behind your back. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Definitely not one of my biggest fears. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. And we say whatever we want, really. Yeah. Not like now where you're holding back. Yeah. I mean, normally it's Jeff and I get lost talking about something and I just start looking things up. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes we break down and we, we talk about how much, like, maybe a certain answer sucks. We'll probably rip apart this sandwich one for <laughs> okay. a minute. Oh, my God. This okay. sandwich one, I could go on and on about yeah. how bad that we'll is. We'll see what's I just feel like if I got you one, you would eat it and it would be pretty I good. I would eat it, but it'd be fine. But it better have blue cheese. I feel like yours has ranch. Blue cheese? What? Just ask me your question. All right. Uh, let's blue see. Cheese. I love blue cheese. In your whole life, Ben, whole life, think, you know, what's the meanest thing you've said slash done to someone? Wow. That's what, tough. Yeah, what's something <laughs> terrible Ben has done? <laughs> Oh, he's laughing. Oh, you he's, monster. He's like the freaking Joker. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. I think I've been low-key kind of mean to people that I didn't realize. Yeah. Um, I think I was kind of a dick in junior high. But oh. I, th- I thought I was being, like, fun and sarcastic. Junior high. But Take me there. I think it was, uh, you know, I was a little insecure. I was trying to figure out who I was. <laughs> Turns out it would be, like, 10 years after that. But uh-huh. We're in junior high. Yeah. I, um, I'm who you're talking to. You're yeah. who I'm talking to? Yeah. Jeff's one of these wiener kids you went to school with. Yeah. yeah. Um, Gee, Ben. Th- okay. I, are you excited for science class? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once I called some... We're, once I feel like I called some, a girl, like, she... we. I liked her, had a crush on her. Okay. Thought we were going to go out. Oh, yeah. It didn't end up work, didn't fall in my favor. Uh oh. I, I think I was like, man, fuck you, you're hairy anyway, or something. Oh, so, no. Which, and now, and I was a bad person, and I'm sorry to that person who I'm not going to say. They're, Call they it Armenian this. girl, Harry. Do you think we had Armenians? <laughs> when I, grew up? I wish. Oh, um, he said, fuck you, you're hairy anyway. You would have learned how to play back game even if you did. Yeah. Wow. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm going to write that in the thing you don't like about women. No, I uh, don't mind hair. Hair. Woman. Apparently love, it's hair. Hates no, hairy hair. women. Currently love hair. I have no problem with it. Yeah, so you, you said, fuck you, you're hairy anyway. And what would she do? She like, that hurt my feelings. Why, man? I think it was more along the lines of like, wait, what? <laughs> and then yeah. we just didn't talk for a while. Oh, and you lost your crush? No, I still had it, but that's all, that's why I was saying because I was hurt. You know what I mean? You let, you're like a like backed into a corner like a wolf. Yeah, don't don't hurt me. I'll I'll bite you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Show his fangs. Yeah, he gets wounded yeah. and he hurts uh, you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Why do you think you do that? Uh, insecurity. You, yeah. Why do you hurt people when you're hurt? Uh, because I'm hurt. Because I lash out. I, hurt I feel people bad. Hurt people. Yeah. Did you come up with that? Yep. That's really good, man. Uh, I think when you you know, you feel bad. Sometimes the only thing that you think will make you feel better, it almost never does, is making someone else feel bad. Oh, so you just, okay, so you get angry and lash out. Oh, this is how I feel. Well, now you, you're you going to feel bad. Oh, you don't ever do God. that? No. I feel like you do it I a little bit. I would never do such a thing. Yeah. Well, I'm you just don't, full of love. You don't really does that all the time. I feel like you don't really feel no, that much. I, I, <laughs> I don't I, think I, you're I, a big I, feeling guy. I remember in junior high, I talked to a girl I had a crush on, and I was like, I like you. And she's like, I don't like you. And I went, that's totally unacceptable. <laughs> And that's totally Jeff fine. Jeff goes to therapy right now. <laughs> Jeff goes to therapy right now because when him and Chelsea get in fights, he comes up with the meanest thing he could possibly say. That's also why he had to quit drinking. 
What? Well, because I was getting mean? Yeah. You're, you, I feel like you have like a little bit of a rep as kind of a possibly mean guy. No, it wasn't. I mean, definitely when you were drinking. Less now. I was funny when I was drinking. It was funny. Thank you. If Tim thinks it's funny, it was for sure mean. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> There's no question. I was super funny. Yeah, I would, I would get all hammered and be like, what's up, you hairy ladies? Yeah. <laughs> and Ben would give me a high five. Secretly. I would. I was like, that's pretty He'd good. Go yeah. fat people start patting him on the belly and be like, what's up, fat so? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that one I might have pulled. Hey, yo. <laughs> no, I remember I walked up. I, it was to Sam. It was Sam Evans. I was oh, hammered. Oh, not our sweet baby boy, And Sam it was Evans. at like a party. And like, I don't know. I thought I was being funny. And I just walked up like, oh, hey there. And I just tapped his belly. <laughs> 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 just because I knew he hated it. Have you ever been ta- hit before? No, never been oh punched. My God. Didn't talk to him for six months. <laughs> yeah, he didn't talk to me for six months. Yeah, so I've changed my ways. Okay. I'm nice and sober. Isn't that right, Ben? <laughs> You're you're different. All right. You better be careful. We're going to be family in 20 years. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Be. Yeah, I'd be like, what's up, fellow grandpa, Ben? You know, we'll yeah. have our grandpa time. You're going to have a different voice. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be me. He's old now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's fair, actually. You'll be dead in an urn next to me. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, been, I've been dead for years. You're walking up. What's up, buddy? Kicking my urn over. What's up, fatty? Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I put you on the rocking chair next yeah, to me yeah. and we talk. A lot more ashes than you'd think, huh? <laughs> Starts nudging. Everybody. What does this guy have a fucking grilled chicken wrap before he died? What's going on here? I'm so alone. <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right, last question. We're on the final question here, Ben. All Ooh. right, we got to know. Everyone wants to know uh, what comedians got you into comedy. Who are your guys? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ask that every time? <laughs> yeah. Do people laugh every time? Every single That's person. That's really funny. <laughs> yeah. Who do you like? <laughs> Who are yeah. my guys? Who are your comedians? Uh, I really like Hannibal Burris. Oh, Hannibal. Um, if we're talking people who got me into comedy, that's definitely a Burris. Chappelle, Chris Rock. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I like Tig Notaro. Oh, I don't think we've gotten Tig before. I don't think so either. Okay. And then, you know, I feel like... Well, you want to give me one more? Sounds like you want to give me one more. Come on. Know. It's around the tip of your like lips. A... I can see it. It's fluttering. I really... I really like that. Did you ever see that Conan set with Rory Scovel and John Doerr? The yeah. dual set. Yeah, that's, yeah, I think that's my favorite comedy set ever. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I take that back. Fuck. Did I already say it? It doesn't count. No, no. I'm Just the one with John Doerr. Oh, okay. John Doerr is great. I'm going to say John Doerr. John Doerr also has not been mentioned. Okay, great. That's solid. So we got, yeah, Doerr's new, Tig's new. We've had Hannibal, I think. I don't think we've had Hannibal before. No, we haven't had Hannibal yeah, before. Yeah, it's our first Hannibal. That's good. Pickle right. juice. Mm-hmm. But John Dor, pigeon. John Dor had a bit that he was doing at the Comedy Attic one weekend where he would take a big fake dildo and he tucked it up into his pants and he started the set by going, ah, and he'd stretch and then his shirt would come up and you'd see like the dick coming out of his pants. <laughs> he's he's got to be one of the funniest people That's on so the planet. Funny. It was super it's funny. And then he bought everyone in the crowd electric banana like, like, alcoholic things and he goes I- I'll pay for all of it and then he got the bill and he goes oh no <laughs> <laughs> very funny He's so funny alright so let's see here you, you want aliens to help us out in the future Everybody but if knows. not water wars yep. uh, you hate a hairy woman you That's know you true. see their skin you get horny and you hate them for doing that to you uh, let's Half see. True. If they grow more hair, you won't see so much skin. Yeah, yeah, I'm into hair now. Out. I'm back on hair. I wasn't. I was immature. Uh, let's see. Alpha Centauri wants to see an Earth. Mom's the best. Loves it. Sandwich sucks. Uh, let's see here. All right. Two strikes. You know, you can bang Ben's wife once. <laughs> yeah. you if she's one, cool with it. Yeah, if she's cool with it, obviously. One time. All right. So if she watches, she knows she gets one little <laughs> a little slip. She knows. She uh, made me put it in our vows. Days and Confused. Solid movie, but wrong. That cost you. Yeah. So let's see here. You, I should have said Avengers. Game. 200K. I don't like that. I want you to adopt us tomorrow. You know, if I adopt tomorrow, you have to adopt tomorrow. Let's do it, and then we'll make them get married. Adoption challenge. You yeah, want to get into it? I we'll love make that. Them get married. We have, we'll arrange their marriage. No, I don't think we can do yeah. it. Now no, we it's, can. It's on if camera. You adopt so. an Indian child. I adopt an Indian child. That's arrange crazy. Marriage. It's crazy that there's not a black kid between. That us. would That's work. Insane. That would work. That's that insane. Is, that would be okay. <laughs> 
can you do that? <laughs> Jeff can do it. <laughs> Adopt separate and then arrange them. I think Jeff that's what can do it because he loves love so much. Yeah, Damn. I think that's what we will do. That might so, be a good bit. You should uh, do that as a bit. See how that goes. That might actually be a solid bit. I'm so intelligent. Okay. And humble. Uh, and then 2009, you finally found out who you were. What a year. <laughs> I love that for you. All right, Ben. Gosh darn it. I like this. You're getting a dang nine. Oh, wow, a nine. God. A nine. Uh, did you the sandwich the, fuck me out I, of a ten? Oh, you were no way getting a ten. Okay. You All were right. I'm surprised you got a nine with that sandwich answer to be Yeah, well. I liked it. It's, you know what's been it's well, you did a ten. great job. You answered the questions in yeah. a truthful and very serious way. Mm-hmm. Was that? God. You tied with Renan. Oh God. Give me give me an eight. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm got a higher. All right. He got a nine? Wilfred got a nine. He oh, tied with Wilfred. That's great. That's good. Emil with an eight, so. Wait, Emil did this? Yeah, Emil got an eight. All right. Emil had a great time because he's such a freaking people pleaser. Yeah, yeah. he had a nice time. He's All a right. nice boy. Good stuff. I love it. So you get to do your plugs. Do your little plugs. Do my little plugs. Uh, as previously mentioned and won't be cut out, I will be in Boston in early August. Uh, myself, Caitlin Reese, come check us out. I'll post the dates. I don't remember what they are. I got a book. It's called Hello, My Name is Poop. It's a graphic novel, and uh, it's very cool. You should check it out. And follow me on everything, at Shaq Katzner, K-A-T-Z-N-E-R. When does this come out? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks, two yeah. Two weeks. Um, all right. Watch White Conda on YouTube. I'm going to release something on YouTube called White Conda. It's not a real special, but this is a little fun thing I did. Oh, Check okay. that out. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's White fun. Conda? White Conda. Yeah. Huh. I got one of those. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Skinny but long. <laughs> yeah, it's underfed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like when you make me laugh. <laughs> And then September 13th to the 16th, you can check me out. I'm letting Tom Takar headline for me <laughs> at the Looney Bin in Little Rock, Arkansas. And, of course, check out the Great Hang podcast. And Check out uh, my episode on that podcast. Hey, check out. Uh, yeah, Ben was on our podcast. It was great. And then uh, if this comes out, possibly, I think it does. You can check out my show here. The first, the, it'll be on this very stage. The uh, first uh, Sunday of the month, uh, my advice show. So come check that out, August 6th, here at the gutter. And then follow me at hot underscore comic 69. Oh, and I'm in Dallas Comedy Club, August 11th and 12th. And follow me at New York Jeffrey. Goodbye. Goodbye. Should we pray?